First, connect the vacuum pump or vacuum generator. Rotate all the switches of the vacuum cable to the on position. Cover the suction holes with a soft film or soft rubber mat. Under normal circumstances, all the valves of the suction holes are completely closed. At this point, no suction holes should have any suction force. After inspection, no suction holes were found absorbing the soft rubber mat. It indicates that the valves of the suction holes are all working properly. Unplug the hose of the vacuum pump and then connect the compressed air. Use compressed air to blow back into the inner cavity of vacuum table. Turn on and off the switches one by one. This vacuum table has not been watered by the user for self-cleaning. So there were some tiny debris remaining inside. Tiny debris is blown out in reverse. The description area features a demo of watering and cleaning a vacuum table. Strictly follow the operation of watering and cleaning to carry out daily post-use cleaning. If too much debris accumulates, it may cause the valve of the suction hole to fail to close. This vacuum table has been used by the user for 10 days. After finishing the processing work every day, he has never followed the operating procedures to water and clean it. Now, compressed air has to be used for backflowing cleaning. The vacuum table has resumed normal operation. Once again, please note that after using the vacuum table every day, the switch must be rotated counterclockwise by 30 degrees from the off position. Perform the cleaning operation of watering and remove the remaining tiny debris.